Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of inventory management system. Inventory management system is basically used to uh, store the inventory and uh, related to the purchase and the purchase goods and the sales goods and uh, user management also. So uh, how the sales reports are generated and uh, many more uh, functionalities included in inventory management system and this is the fifth and to sixth video tutorial of your uh, inventory management system online inventory management system in this video tutorial just I'm going to add a uh, super admin uh, to creating other uh, users uh, adding um, adding goods uh, into the into the store or database table and uh, also uh, set the gmail uh, for the SMTP services and also set uh, upload uh, files on the basis of the singleton okay so uh, here I'm going to add first of all send email and you know that that uh, IDB initializer uh, is a interface where I use uh, to seeding the data the first time okay so here we have a IDB initializer interface with the some signature of methods or you can say that abstract methods like create super admin in this method just i'm going to add a super admin uh, like admin functionalities like their username and the passwords after adding the super admin passwords also create a profile for the uh, super admin uh, on the basis of user profiles so here we have a create super admin task send email and a string from email string from name string message string to mail string to name okay so here we have from name and to name just mentioned it in the code message or body message you can say and string uh, smtp user okay string smtp passwords and a string smtp host like the gmail and a string smtp port like 587 is the default port of the gmail and a bool SMTP SSL I mean to say that SSL is required or not because the third party connections uh, require a less, connection, uh, less secure app for the Gmail and the next one is the task of the type string that is written upload file where I will upload uh, image related data and a particular folder or directory you can say so here I'm using iPhone file because a list of iPhone file because I have a uh, zero base index if you want to add only single file then you can say only zero base index will save into the database table and the next one is the iWeb host environment actually iWeb host environment if you are using in the class library then you can see in the last videos of my channel and remove the errors and string directory and what is the string directory uh, string directory I mean to say that where the image file uploads okay so if you want to remove iWeb host environment errors uh, that's under squiggly lines just I want to remove squiggly line under the iWeb host environment just check my previous video tutorial okay uh, so you can say you just remove the iWeb host environment related errors okay so everything is well now implement that I db initializer with the db initializer class so and use this package or you can remove iweb host environment by using uh, this namespace okay and here i'm going to add create super admin first of all create a super admin is the by default you can say that here we have app user and uh, also uh, super admin details uh, consisting in the uh, app setting storization file so first of all you know that app sorting storization file we, uh, we will use in this session so here I'm going to add create super admin by using the app user so uh, that is the basic steps to create a super admin like that so here we have app user user equals to new app user that is the first instance created in the uh, create super admin uh, and now this uh, after user dot email and just I want to pick the email from the app setting storage file so here I'm using I options because uh, 
if you are configure your email and the password and just i want to use uh, in the startup.cs file or the program.cs file just i want to configure that the same class and the same class is also existing in the helper class uh, okay helper class directory now here we have you can see in the solution explorer where you can see super admin.cs file and that super admin.cs file is actually configured in the program.cs file so just you you can use it in any class libraries by using i options so uh, here i'm going to add email username email confirm that is true and the response that is user manager dot create async and create async just i want to use uh, username as well as the passwords so just uh, going to add like that you you can add it uh, super admin configuration and uh, here i'm using um, super admin underscore super admin okay so everything is very well and uh, just i'm going to add some more details okay so you can see and uh, later we will uh, discuss on that topic
this is the simple steps to creating upload files and uh, create super admin if you have any doubts please uh, consult me on your comment and just mention uh, your query in the comment section and just i want to uh, give you a answer uh, as soon as possible and just uh, I, I have a favor for you just uh, i request you please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video